Have you ever had that feeling when you eat um too much spree and you just feel like a big piece of crap and you feel like you have 30 cavities? Um, that's me right now because I had, I don't know if you know what spree is, but it's kind of this chewy candy. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but yeah, whatever. Um, so anyways, I was looking back at my old videos and I realized that in most of my battles, I don't get too depth into thought on my narrations in this battle. I'm going to try to do that. Like I watched other people and I don't know if you know what I mean, but like some people describe what they're doing and they describe exactly why they did it and all that stuff sometimes i just kind of say what i did i don't really say why and i feel like that's kind of lame but anyways um yeah this battle's kind of long just because it's extremely close i was debating on uploading it but then i realized that like this is the perfect battle where i can like this is kind of a stally team of his and i can describe like exactly my thoughts on what I was doing and so yeah this is the last battle you will see me use with this team so um yeah and actually I would highly recommend staying here if you want to see a very close battle I mean most people like me like if I saw an 11 minute battle I would be like hmm I might not want to see this 11 minutes is a waste of my time I promise you that this is going to be a good one of mine and so electrode is my lead because he does not have anything to take the volt switch or he doesn't have anything to like whatever you know what I'm saying like it won't affect it so I go into my metang because I don't want him to go for the thunder wave and metang is the only thing that can get rid of a uh, status and a an ailment with um rest and then I knew he was going to switch out because I showed him the earthquake because he has so many things. Like, he has, um, like, thir three things on this team, probably more than that, to easily take an earthquake. So I went back in my electrode just because he was obviously going to switch. He doesn't want to uh, um, lose his probable pass that early. And so in comes my Ludicolo. I'm like, okay, I can get a free sub. If the Tangela comes in, I can probably get a burn on it with Scald, and that's always good. And uh, he goes to the Thunder Wave not knowing that I've sub because I have not shown him my set yet and now I was kind of expecting anything to come in so I went for the skull just trying to get the burn maybe but no he just stays and lets me kill him so now in comes this thing somehow I hit the leech seed first try and I stay in the sub with the psychic because Ludicolo is incredibly bulky so now my mindset is I don't really care if Ludicolo is burned and he obviously has the synchronized so I'm just gonna go for the scald I do get the crit but I don't get the burn which I mean it doesn't really matter because he just got the regenerator probably I don't actually remember whatever but he goes back into his sleeping beauty just to get rid of the leech seed I guess the um Masharna sorry and I don't really care about Ludicolo being burned I'd rather be it burned than toxic and he just goes to the heel bell, which is just fine by me. And so now I'm not sure what I did. I don't, I actually haven't watched this back yet myself. But so now, okay, I do stay in and just go for the skull because I don't know if he is like calm mind or whatever yet. Um, yeah, so uh, he's just going for the moonlight. And it's kind of stally right now. I probably should have sped this part up. But, um, so my mindset was I got to find some switch, um, safe opportunity to get out of here. I go into my Swalot thinking I can encore him into whatever move he goes for. But luckily for me, he goes out into his Tangela, which is just amazing because Swalot's a great matchup against that. And so it does a lot to his, um, thing and so I knew he was gonna try to recover probably so um, I just stayed in because I mean it's either he dies or I die really so I just there was no reason for me to switch out because I ha haven't showed him encore yet and I could easily just stay in and go for that and now he's burned and he's gonna switch probably so I'm just gonna keep spamming that sludge bomb and that damage on that Rotom um, Rotom Frost actually mattered, so realize that my Swalla got 50% off of him, and yeah, that is great, and so now I go for the Sludge Bomb again, and now I know he's obviously going to go for the Psychic, because he saw me use Encore, oh wait, 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 what, oh, I don't know why, I guess I was just going to fodder off my Swalla, and then go into my Electrode to get momentum, but I get a crit, which is incredibly lucky, 
and I just stayed in because I didn't really have a reason to switch, but now I know he's choiced because what sock isn't choiced, so I go into my Ludicolo to take the Earthquake. He's obviously going to switch, and he has no Masharna, so he has no Heal Beller. So I'm just going for the Scald, trying to get a burn, and that is what I'm proceeding to do because he really can't touch me, and I don't want to sub because I can't Leech Seed this thing. So I'm just going for the Scald. And here's, I think this is the point of the battle, it was some point in this battle, where we were both just spamming Giga Drains at each other, and I knew that I was effectively going to win, because I had leftovers, and he didn't have leftovers, and we're both pretty much doing the same thing. We're both pretty equally bulky, because, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, I get a crit, I don't know if that really mattered, I am getting kinda hexed, or haxy, but... I mean, it didn't really matter. I could have gone into... It probably would have been actually worse if I didn't get that crit because I could have gone into something to get momentum. Oh, but here! I thought that he might want to switch things up, so I went for the Scald, and I get the burn, which is just awesome. And I went for the Scald just because either way I was going to kill him, but if he had switched, I had that 30% chance to get the burn, which I did get... And so now I'm pretty sure he's banded because a Scarf Sock could probably not take out a Swallow in one hit with an Earthquake. So I just go into my Electrode. He isn't Scarfed, or if he is Scarfed, he's adamant. I take his Sock out. I go into my Monferno because if he goes into his Rotom Frost, I can kill it with the Mock Punch. And I can go in for the U-Turn if he goes into anything else. He goes into his Loma Mola. I go in, into my Electrode, but he goes, goes for the Waterfall. And I'm like, oh crap, I can only switch in two more times, which was my mindset at this time. So I was trying to play my cards right. I go for the Thunderbolt, knowing that it'll probably do a lot of damage to anything left on his team. He brings in his Rotom, which lets me know that it is for sure Scarfed. And he just goes for the Thunderbolt. I'm not sure if that would have taken out my Electrode. It probably would have, because Electrode isn't the bulkiest thing. But there is his hacks. He gets the crit and the para, which is kind of crazy. I go into my Monferno, knowing I can threaten him out. Um, Actually, no, I go straight for the Mach Punch, because um, I don't want to over-predict and have him kill me. That would be awful and so I go into my Kangaskhan simply as far knowing that if I play my cards perfectly right with my Electrode and my Monferno then I can beat him so what I'm thinking is I'm just gonna stall this Aloma Mola just get off as much damage as I possibly can and then go into something to threaten it out that was my mindset I didn't really want my Kangaskhan I was actually I don't know, at first I did, but then you will see towards the end, I just didn't really want it. So, he actually predicts me right there to not go for this sub. So, um, I guess I was trying to stall, but whatever. Here, um, by the end, I did realize that I just didn't need my Kangaskhan, and I could use um, my Electrode and my Monferno to beat the two remaining things on his team. And so, yeah, we're just going to wait for his Aloma Mola to wish stall me to death. And then you will see um, me um, with my correct mindset or whatever. And so he's not going for the Waterfall so that I cannot disable it, which is kind of a great play. Or I think that's why, because if he had gone for it on that turn, whatever, never mind. Okay, so here it is. I slowed this down a lot just so I can get my full thought into it. Alright, I go into my Electrode knowing that it can pretty much kill his Aloma Mola, but to my surprise, I live with 13%, which means that I can switch in one more time if I go for the Volt Switch, because Rox does 12.5%, and so yeah, that was my mindset, go for the Volt Switch. If he goes into his um, Rotom Frost, then it'll probably do a lot, which it does, and had he stayed in, it probably would have been the better play, because he was around full, probably full, and I don't think a Specs um, Volt Switch could quite take it out in one hit, and then he could have killed my Monferno, but whatever, so I, here is the key play, I knew he was going to switch to his Aloma Mola, because he needed that Rotom Frost, 
So I go, I go for the U-turn, which was the key play. He could have taken me out with a Thunderbolt easily. I go into my Electrode with 1%. This is my last time to stay in. I know that his Rotom Frost will live or can't live a Thunderbolt from this range because it's at 20-something percent. And so here is the moment of truth. I'm at 1%, and he goes for the Protect, and I go for the Specs Thunderbolt. It takes out the Aloma Mola. And now I'm at 1%. He has his Scarfed Rotom Frost left. He goes into it. He's obviously going to outspeed my Electrode. Go for the Thunderbolt. Take me out easily from 1%. I go into my Monferno, which is banded, at 51%. And I go for the mock punch and finish it. But that one turn where you turned on the Aloma Mola won me the game. Because had I not gone for that, I would have lost my Electrode. And he could have. My Monferno cannot possibly take out an Aloma Mola. So yeah, leave a like for that epic match. I hope I did not disappoint you. Be super excited for my story time tomorrow. I'm kind of excited, even though I'm just kind of a gay little girl for saying that. But yeah, look forward to that and a new team on Thursday. So yeah, all that good stuff. Leave me comments and have a good day.